Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephen Fellin. Welcome to this video. Today is a, another video in the webinar questions answered series. And this is the last video, at least for now, about provisional restorations. So I've done a series of videos this week about provisional restorations. And these were all questions from my video, Altering the Video seminar, um, Altering Vertical Dimension Case Studies. So today, from Dr. Yoon and a few other dentists, wanted to know, are these provisionals splinted together, which I've answered in some of the previous videos. Yes, they're splinted at least in segments and quadrants and or sextants. And if they are, how do the patient achieve proper oral hygiene? Good question. So there's two, there's two or three things that we have to consider here. Um, one is you want to have really well-fitting provisional restorations. So the marginal fit has to be good and the embrasure with splinted restorations is critical. So you have to create that ideal embrasure form so that there's room for A, the papilla to rebound after, um, after uh, impression procedures because I use cords to take the impressions. So the tissue kind of gets pushed up and then you want it to rebound into the, into the papilla area and fill that in nicely. And if you leave the embrasures of your provisionals kind of blunted, and filled in and not carved out enough, you'll, um, you'll prevent that from happening and you'll have black spaces around your final restorations. So contour of the provisionals splinted together especially is critical. You want to get that nice carved embrasure form. So that allows the tissue to rebound and, and, and really just be in more ideal shape and uh, contour. And then the other thing is having this embrasure fairly open and easy to access allows the patient to use a floss threader or super floss. So a floss threader is really good. Um, even splinted provisionals, if the embrasures are created ideally, you can use a floss threader and keep the tissue really nicely, ideally um, healthy, even with um, this kind of situation. And, you know, you could look at, uh, here's a picture of, a case where I took the provisionals off after months in the mouth and the tissue looks amazing. But this comes down to, again, the shape of the papilla um, being designed with the provisional restorations. And it also comes down to the patient having good oral hygiene. So ability to use, um, ability to use uh, super floss or floss threaders is great. And then the other thing to look at is um, maybe a hygiene appointment. So we like to do a hygiene appointment one to two weeks before the seeding appointment if they're in provisionals long term. And that just helps get the tissue even more healthy. And if the tissue isn't perfect at that hygiene appointment, we'll put them on um, chlorhexidine for the last week or so, week to 10 days before the seeding appointment. So the chlorhexidine and the hygiene appointment helps. I don't like them in chlorhexidine the whole provisional period because it stains the provisionals, but for the last week, it's okay. So hygiene appointment, embrasure form, super floss or floss threaders, lastly, chlorhexidine. These things will all give you a more idealized tissue at the seeding appointment. You'll have less issues and the case will go more smoothly. So thanks for the question. I think it's a good question, something we have to address. And um, the biggest key is give your patients well-fitting provisionals with good embrasure form, and you'll get nice tissue at the seating appointment. So thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. If you're interested in attending my webinar, it's Vertical Dimension Case Studies, Altering the Vertical Dimension Case Studies. You can go to videoseminar.com. Thank you.